What's going on guys? It's your boy Adoptionism here. I'm bringing you guys another video on the summer solstice or solstice of heroes event and I know there are some people that are obviously having more time to complete this a lot faster and putting videos out for you guys but I finally completed the green armor for the event and I have blue. So, like I showed you guys in the first video, how the green armor works is that you do the challenges. You can't get elemental orbs unless you have the whole armor set equipped, which sucks. Because then your light level is low if you have to do strikes or anything. Now, anyway, uh, so what happens after you complete every single piece of armor? Oh, hang on. Let's admire this guy real quick. He's shiny. He looks cool. I dig it. Iron Man. Anyway, uh, you spawn in right here, and then you just go up to the statue... And then this one says consider your journey. The other one says uh, strengthen your honor. We'll just say that. I know it's not that, but we'll just go with that. Um, and uh, once you go in there and you hit strengthen or whatever, instead of pulling this up first, it'll do a flash and you'll see the, on the whole like right side of your screen link, you know, when you get engrams and stuff, it pops up all of these pieces. Now we're going to go through these. Now, to explain again, or kind of like a little disclosure, that, again, I'm a hunter. This is not a warlock. This is not a titan. I know on the other one, on the other video, I was a warlock, so not to confuse you guys. Uh, this one I completed with my hunter. Now, each piece, like all these pieces, everybody will have roughly the same challenges. Just different pieces of armor will have different challenges. Um, so it could be like... The challenges from my helmet could actually be on your boots or from your... Actually, I don't know. Cloaks? I don't know. This is the second time in a row the cloaks have had super kills for me, so who knows. But anyway, the cool part about this blue armor set is that you don't have to have it all equipped to get it done. So if you need help from an exotic or something or... You know, you like having a certain effect or something. Like if you have a special build and you want your gear to be what it is, then you can do that. Super easy. Anyway, all right, let's go with this. So for my helmet, I have this one. Now, also, a key note to point out is that the green armor set and the blue armor set both say you have to complete the Redux mission. So I'm going to have to redo these missions one more time. Now, complete Redux mission, defeat enemies with void energy weapons. Now, the cool part about that is that it doesn't matter what my subclass is, as long as this... Nope, sorry, I'm retarded. No, wait, wait, energy, power. I keep forgetting that they do that. Anyway, so this right here, as long as I use this and I get kills, that'll progress that bar. And then, um, I know there's a couple other ones down here. Um, by the way, Graviton Lance, right now, for the people that are doing the PvP challenges, I don't know if anyone's ever experienced Cough Cough, but Graviton Lance is a ridiculous meta right now. I didn't realize how dumb it was till I obviously just got back into the game again, and, oh my god, dude. Graviton Lance is ridiculous right now. Alright, anyway, proceeding. Uh, Nightfall completed, and it's just regular Nightfall. It doesn't say, uh, you know, Heroic Nightfall or do the Nightfall Challenge or anything like that, so that's pretty easy. Um, that'll probably be the last one I do, just because out of all of these events, I want to say the Nightfall might be the most challenging. Um, now, for my arms, it says, you know, uh, complete the Payback Redux mission, so mission number three, I think, four? I don't know. I don't know the order of these. I'm so bad at this. Um that I have to do void grenade kills. Now again, it says defeat enemies. It does not say in the Crucible, so let's kind of get that out of the way because Crucible is kind of irritating. I'm um, trying to grind that because you just get frustrated because you're going up against people that actually kind of know what they're doing, so that kind of gets just aggravating. Anyway, void grenade kills. So again, void weapon kills, void grenade kills, so I'm probably just going to chill on my Stalker or my Night Stalker for a while. Um, and then Heroic Strikes completed. Now, this is the one, it says three, though, so that's good. Three is a very reasonable number. It's not anything too, like, you know, unthinkable or whatever. So, um, I think between Nightfall and Heroic Strikes, those might be the last ones that I attempt. Uh, next, we have the 1AU Redux mission, defeat enemies with solar power weapons and win non-private Crucible matches. Now, I do, now seeing this... I wonder if, with the green armor, if you could actually boost and cheese the hell out of doing it in private matches. Because the other ones didn't say private matches or non-private matches. It just said crucible. So, 
cough, cough. Tips out there for anybody who wants the cheesy st- like likes the cheese. I love cheese. Cheese is delicious. Anyway, uh, and then Crucible wins. Oh, yeah, that's what we were just talking about. So five wins is really not that difficult. If you just play quick play, you'll get with some people. Uh, solar weapon kills. Now this is solar weapon. Oh, power weapon, sorry. So it's going to be this right here. So I already have my void, and I already have my solar. So that's pretty easy. But in order to get this done fast, I would say either uh, funnel enemies into a big group and then multi-kill them, or switch to a sword or a shotgun to get you know more more shots because you know obviously rockets have limited ammo. Um, next here we have the spark redux mission: defeat enemies with solar melee abilities. So that's again that's not too difficult, but that means that I would have to change my subclass. And then adventures. Adventures are the little orange things on the map, and if you already completed all the adventures previously, you can actually just talk to um, the people who run that area. Like, I'll show you guys, for example, for Earth. You can just talk to him, like Devrim, and he will give you adventures. Granted, I have not done any of these adventures, so um, I still have all of them there. But for people who have them already completed, I'm pretty sure that they are um, available to the people that obviously have the missions there. So 10. 10 shouldn't take too long. You could usually speed run those. Then lastly here, we have the Homecoming Redux mission and defeat enemies with arc supers. Again, enemies does not say crucible, so that's awesome. And then challenges. Challenges are those three little challenge things that pop up each time you visit a planet. And those are, I believe those are daily. So this might actually technically be the last one that you will have completed because it'll take more than just one day to grind this out. You could grind this, 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 and this all in one day. Granted, that would take a lot of time, but this is the only thing that might take multiple days. Anyway, let me go know what you guys think of the new setup and everything. And yeah, I really hope this helps you guys out. And until next time, this has been your boy Adopt. Peace out.